last game of the season, it came down to the final play as Ohio State had the heart to beat them all. This year, the Buckeyes have again displayed a flair for the dramatic. A triple overtime victory measured in inches. And a new hero arriving in time to keep title dreams alive. Today, Michigan State invades Columbus, rejuvenated by their new head coach and led by a fiery quarterback. The Spartans have taken the Big Ten by surprise and reclaimed a position among the conference elite. Rose Bowl dreams collide today in Columbus. The Ohio State Buckeyes are the defending national champions on their home field today. Still in the hunt to go back to that championship game. They need a lot of help. Today they've got a Big Ten battle on their hands as number 20 Michigan State comes calling against the fifth ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. You look at the Big Ten standings, Michigan Idol alone on top at five and one. Ohio State has its own destiny in its hands right now. They've got three games left. If they run the table, they're gonna be the Big Ten champions. They've won 22 of their last 23, 13 of 14 in the Big Ten. They're the defending national champs at eight and one. Michigan State will touch it first. They're seven and two, that's Mike Nugent. And that's DeAndre Cobb. And this is a Big Ten football Saturday in Columbus. High short kick. Cobb will field at the 10. Got out to about the 23, and that's it. Here comes Jeff Smoker. As Bob mentioned, leads the Big Ten in passing yards per game. 13 touchdowns, six interceptions from its own 23. And immediately you see the shotgun and four wideouts for Smoker. Little slip screen over to Shabai. And the leading receiver for the Spartans is out close to a first down. As we take a look at our principal financial group starting lineups, here's how it looks. Here's the big eaters up front for the Spartans. Wheeler, Tate's been around a long time, probably their best. Morris, Harker, and Stewart across the front wall. The backs and receivers, Jaron Hayes does most of the work at the tailback spot, not the tight end. Trannon, Alexander, and Shabai, who just made that catch. State backs out of a blitz look here. Smokers throw, and it's incomplete. Broken up by Will Allen. And up front, this group's a good one. Frazier, Scott, Anderson, and Smith, both All-American candidates at their respective positions. A.J. Hawk, Freddie Pudgett Jr., and Robert Reynolds, the linebackers. The secondary's a good one. Fox, Sally, Allen makes big plays. Chris Gamble will play both offense and defense, and Whitner's a nickelback, and he'll see a lot of action today with this formation of Michigan State's. And Jeff Smoker goes straight ahead for the first down. Smoker rolls left and throws on the run and throws a strike. Nice pass to Trannon on a second down and three. Alexander back in motion across the field. Smoker's getting flushed out of the pocket. Got a man open in the middle and he fell down. Shabai tripped over the 50-yard line of the from the 41-yard line. Here comes a blitz. Smoker has time. Deep streak on the sideline, and it's incomplete. Eric Knott had a hand on it, but could... And he's a dangerous one. And he's starting wide receivers. Ohio State might have gotten a piece of that. They came with a lot of pressure. The ball's going to harmlessly roll inside the 20-yard line. I think Will Smith, though, got a hand on that. First down, Ohio State now. We'll check their offense in a moment. Friends will play action on the end around and going deep. Opening play. Got a man up there and just overshot it. Santonio San Holmes. Craig Krenzel, their senior captain and quarterback. And here's Craig's numbers, not what they were a year ago. But as Bob and Swanee already talked about, when you're 21 and 2 as a starter. Brandon Joe, the fullback. And now it's Krenzel. This is what he does well. They have to be a little bit concerned about him running today after our print, print, uh, principal financial group starting lineups. Look like this. Sims and Clark, Mangold, Stepanovich has been around forever, and Shane Olivier, one of the best right tackles in football. The backs, Ross, Joe, the fullback. Hartsock's a very good tight end. Jenkins and Holmes are the starting wide receivers. No more 80-degree days in Columbus. Krenzel, again, will run. And he might have gotten it. It looks like it. As Smoker did with a quarterback sneak. Krenzel picks up that one. And now jumping off the left side. Prior to the snap, offside, defense. Main contact, five-yard penalty. Here's 
The defensive line for Michigan State, Taplin, Askew, who had a key penalty late in the ballgame last week, Rasmussen and Dukes, Stanley, Labinjo, and Mitchell are the linebackers. And the secondary, Barnett, Harmon, Deron Ware making his first start. Very smart young man. Leading tackler with 77 coming in. It's first and five. Lydell Ross. And Ross is out very close to a first down. So that's Ross got a first down. It's at the 39. And he'll get it again in a little delay. Broke a tackle, trying to cut outside. Nice pursuit by Michigan State. He went through an extensive process before they clear him to play this afternoon. And he was ready to roll by Tuesday or Wednesday. And he's ready to roll here as he gets a pass out to San Antonio Holmes. And Chris Gamble now in on offense. You see number seven split down to the bottom of your screen is the flanker there to three wide out group. And Krenzel back to throw and going long for Gamble. Left sideline, he's out there. Not quite. Had two chances at it. He couldn't pull it in. There's some opportunities on the outside to throw one on one. They've already thrown twice, two times. Second and ten, pressure coming this time. He flares it out to Ross. Boy, if he'd have had one block out there, he had the sideline. Well, they give you some yards, but then they swipe one on you every once in a while. Oh, yeah. Third and long for Crimson. And he's got to roll and run and needs some help, and he isn't going to get it. And he got plowed over, and now a flag flies in. No foul on the play. Good call. He was ruled in foul. That's a good and call. And made contact. We'll pick the flag. So it's fourth down at Sander to punt. Hangs it up, trying to drop it inside the 10. And it will. This is going to be a dandy. Two good punters in this ballgame today. All the way to the five-yard line. Defensive line of Ohio State shifting on its front wall. Smoker from the shotgun from his own end zone. Dangerous spot. Down the middle, he's got his man. And it's going to be a first down out to the 20 to Aaron Alexander. Trips up to the top. Here they come. Smoker looked that way and comes back to Teague, his running back. And that is a hard-earned two yards out right where they left off. That was a pretty good defense they had, too. Second and long, slip screen out to Shabai. Broke one tackle, but still only got out near the 25-yard line. Third down, a long five. Michigan State. It's second possession. Smoker fires it out, and it's broken up by Gamble. Well, that was a flag. And a flag flies in. By and it came out so wobbly. It was a changeup. <laughs> Here in Columbus, no score with 8-10 left first quarter. Which one Mark jumps? Start snap. Full start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains. First down. He's the wrestler. The every time I see a guy that was a high school heavyweight, all-state wrestling champion. I get nervous. Loss on the play. All three receivers again to the right side. Smoker's going to roll that way. Jeff pump fakes once. Now he's got a man on the sideline, and he's got it. Inside the 40, it's Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh still on his feet. He's all the way down to the 24-yard line. And picked up 47 yards, a career-long catch for Kavanaugh. Smoker now on a counter. Jason T. And the one they had is split out wide to the left now, so it's five receivers. Smoker down to the end zone. Touchdown. Wide open. Aguim Shabai. 22-yard touchdown. A 95-yard scoring drive for Michigan State. Started on their own five-yard line and just an outstanding drive. Did it mostly, almost entirely with the pass. Touchdown right now. I said almost perfect. I'm going to correct myself. He was five for five on the drive. He was perfect. So Smoker with his 14th touchdown pass of the year, a 22-yarder to Shabai, his favorite receiver, and the Spartans by seven. Gamble and Smith awaiting Rainer's kick. Troy Smith from the goal line. And he got out across the 20 to the 21. So he's got his team a seven-point lead in this Big Ten battle. Ross. Boy, just pulled down by one arm by Levincio. A second down along six. Four wide outs for Krenzel from the shotgun. Craig's going to take off with it. Quarterback draw called all the way. And he's got the first down. He's got 24 yards on four carries. Dual backfield for the first time today for Ohio State. Fullback and the tailback in there, and it's Ross. 
anything doing there. Stay and they're second in the nation in quarterback sacks with 35. They haven't gotten to Krenzel yet. Here's another run from the quarterback position. Greg Krenzel says <laughs> third down at two. Krenzel from the gun. He'll run again. This is like single wing football here. He's got a first down at the 45. Second time Krenzel's run for a first down on third down. And now he's back to throw on first. Deep outs, got a man out there. Oh, what a catch! Ryan Hamby, the tight end. I don't know how he snared that thing. A tougher pass than some of the other ones that have gone incomplete. Look at that catch. Was that pretty? Hamby came in with 12 catches prior to the game, two touchdowns. Got it down to the 25. First down. Krenzel wants more to the end zone. Incomplete Jenkins. Single coverage down at the bottom. That's Antonio Holmes in that single coverage. Krenzel looking that way. Now he's not going to have time to look. And it's Taplin that drops him from behind. Now it's Ohio State trying to return the favor. The ninth play of their drive. Third down and a dozen. Play action to Ross. Krenzel loads it. Goes to the end zone. Gamble had a step. Mike Nugent will try a 44-yard field goal. He's 9 of 11 on the season. One of two excellent kickers on the field today. And that's why. Boy, right down and hit the flagpole that's and the megaphone. You can't get any better than that. Probably just what he was aiming at. Yep. That's the biggest flagpole in the country, I think. And uh, he just picked a spot in between the uprights and drilled it. 44-yard field goal. You're right. Two of the best field goal kickers right here in this ball game, And this is important just to get off the snide and get on the board. So as Nugent knocks it through from 44, the Buckeyes on the board. There's Old Glory flying above the horseshoe, 7-3. The last minute and a half that they have to come from behind, that's all they need to know. DeAndre Cobb from the three-yard line. Cobb's got himself a little seam. He's off to the races, and a flag flies in. It's going to negate a great run back. On the year and leads the conference. This time at the 21. Smoker, five wide receivers, flags down. Offense. He's right. 2-2 two, two ABC or log on to ESPN.com. Search singular. Here's a slip screen out to the left side. That one's going nowhere. Second and 14. They'll try to run it. Surprise, surprise. They got some yardage out of the run. A little bit. Jason Teague. Third and six. Martin receivers spread all over the field. Five of them for Smoker. And here comes a blitz. Smoker lofts it out. He's got a man open. And it's a first down throw as A.J. Hawk, the linebacker. Of course, you got to have a guy making the plays. And Smoker is playing very well. He is. He's hit his last six. He's nine out of 12 on the day. Here's another one. He's 10 of 13. And this one breaks out for Jaron Hayes. And they like to go to their backs. You know, you know, you don't hold the ball very long. You just get rid of it. This time over the middle and in and out of the hands of Shabai. Two tight ends set here on second down and 10. There's Jeff's numbers on the day. Toss sweep to Hayes. And Hayes stood up as he got to the 39-yard line. Well, we got a good ball game going on a chilly day in Columbus. We played a quarter. 7-0 Michigan State, 7-3 Michigan State leading. And you're watching ABC Sports Championship Television. Seven to three. Oh, and we start the second quarter. A posse of four receivers at the time. And it's going to be a double pass. Former quarterback coming back the other way to the current quarterback, Smoker. Smoker down the left sideline. Inside the 20. Aaron Alexander, who moved from quarterback to receiver. And that was just a well-designed play. And a first down, Michigan State threatening again in the red zone. On the ground. Back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a half yard. It's second down and nine. Michigan State inside the Ohio State 19-yard line. Here comes a blitz on Smoker. Loads and fires. Intercepted. Picked off on the near sideline. Tyler Everett down the sideline. He's gone. He might take it. One man to beat. Shoved out of bounds. At the 28-yard line. 
Matt Trannon saved a touchdown. And saves the touchdown. He did save a touchdown. Ross, and he stood up in the hole. Might have gotten a couple. Anyway, this is a big break for Ohio State. Second down and nine. Out of the shotgun. Play action. Frenzel going deep. Man open. Missed him. Jenkins was open. Threw it behind him. But in the games, it just doesn't happen that way. You still have to wait and see where he's running the route. Here's a penalty marker down as Penzo with receivers spread all over the field was going to try to take it up the middle. Uh-oh, now we got, you're always going to get the second guy. There are two fouls on the play. Offside, defense. That's a five-yard penalty. We'll enforce that. Dead ball, personal foul, defense. It's all right if your defense is a little aggressive and get some penalties. I don't want my offense getting penalties. Here's Quinzo, direct snap. Going to run for it. He only got about a yard. 25 second clock winding down. Quinzo out of the gun. Spread left to right. And he's going to get swallowed up. Clifford Dukes all over him. Second sack of the day. Make sure you get a shot at a field goal. Third and 16. They want to get something out of that interception. Quinzo's in trouble again. Now he's got a man open. And he's got him. It's an Ohio State touchdown. Ben Hart sucked the tight end. What a great play by Krenzel just to keep it alive. He had to do what he does best. As Ohio State has the lead now, they're up 10-7. So they do get points out of the interception. Everett's interception turns into a Krenzel touchdown pass. What a big play by uh, the quarterback, Craig Krenzel. Doing a nice job. Number 20, Michigan State now, 10 to 7. And to the one-yard line, DeAndre Cobb on the kick return. Going to have to hustle to get to the 20, and he won't. But it hasn't really mattered because Jeff Smokers played so well. And he throws again. Out the flat, Jaron Hayes. He joins a group of pretty impressive quarterbacks that have done that. Here's a toss sweep to Hayes and dropped. Will Smith, great play. Big third down here for Michigan State. Smoker has time and delivers a strike. It's a first down throw to Aaron Alexander. Blitz is coming from Ohio State. Smoker might have the right play called out there. Got it out to Trenton. Nice job by Ohio State to stretch it out. And I think we're going to have a late hit on a block going to come right over the top there. Yeah, yeah, he should point. know that yeah. the guy's going down and, you, you know, you pull up. I mean, it's hard to pull up 300 Lincoln. pounds. But. <laughs> Personal foul on the offense. 15-yard penalty. The down will be second down. Michigan State's used to overcoming penalty yardage. Here comes the pressure from the backside. Hayes trying to get around Smith. Smith is the guy that forced the play. He won't get the tackle. Third down and 24. Crowd alive for the Buckeye defense. Smoker throws out in the flat, but no chance to get a first down because fields to kick. Line drive spiral that Jenkins fields at the 27. And Jenkins cut down as he got to about the 40. 52 yards and a field goal, and then 28 following that interception return. The touchdown pass, Friends on the hard side. Friends will back to throw again. Deep bounce, got his man. And Jenkins has a catch and a first down on 15 pounds. We got some big receivers in this game. Here comes the pullback. Second down and eight for Krenzel. Down the middle he goes. Caught by Holmes. Flag down. Touchdown. What a throw that was. I think the flag is going to be on the defense. I believe it's going to be pass interference. It won't matter. It'll be a 37-yard touchdown unless we're wrong. Interference, Spartans, touchdown, Ohio State. What a strike. Nugent's extra point is good. We talked about Ohio State's defense. We said their offense has been sputtering. Not in the first half today. Frenzel's second touchdown toss of the first half. Got some smoke on that last pass to Holmes. Cobb from the two. Won't even get to the 
20 again. Ohio State swarming. It actually took a few seconds more than that, though. Smoker on first down. Jeff's got time. They're still holding out the defense, and he finds his target. Eric not his tight end. But he's only made one mistake. This time he rolls to throw. Wanted to go deep. Now goes deep sideline. And Shabai, did he catch that thing? Oh, man. And he took a shot. First down at the 49. Smoker, quick throw. Out to Teague. And another one of the running backs making a play. Only a dive wide outs for Smoker again. There's the linebackers. And they're hunting right now. Smoker down the middle. Right where that linebacker came from, he found his tight end, Eric Knott. He's hit eight in a row. Five out in the formation again for him. He's going to go to the end zone. Not. Not this time. And there's a flag down. We might have a holding call. Preliminary signal is indeed holding Michigan State. So that is down at 20 now. Three man line. Where's Will Smith? Coming on the outside. There it comes. Smoker under pressure. Almost intercepted again by Will Allen. Just a nice little wrinkle by the Buckeyes. Second and 20. Smoker wants to throw a screen and does to Cobb. And Cobb weaves his way to the 31. Defensively important. You get something just to get a field goal. Get some yardage on this play. Smoker with a flag down again. Hit from behind. The ball is loose. Michigan State covered it. Up in the pocket. There's been nobody there. And he just will not. Bob said they need at least three out of this. Let's see if Dave Rayner can get it for him. He's on the Rosa semifinalist list. This is from 48 yards away. A kick on the way, and that's why he's on the Groza semifinalist wow, list. Wow, that's impressive. He just drilled it. He drilled it. Way in the back of the net. That would have been good from 55 or more. Three minutes, 13 seconds remaining in the half. Michigan State cuts into Ohio State's lead. Buckeyes still up 17-10. Raiders kick will go to Gamble, and this is six yards deep, and he won't bring it out. 313 left in the half. Frenzo back to throw again. His receiver fell down, making his outcut. Jenkins has still been pretty quiet today. Offensively for Ohio State. Just one catch. Second and ten. Draw play. but Ohio State's on top. Yes. Frenzel sidesteps the rush. Lofts a pass out. Incomplete. Intended for Jenkins. He was double covered the day. So B.J. Sander into front. Shabai trying to get everybody out of the way. He'll have to let it roll. And it will go down inside the 33-yard line. I'm going to give my pick in a second here. Smoker. Throws out with a slip screen to the wide receiver. Did I go next? Smoker. He, he, he went somewhere else. Ah, that's that's no good. That's no good. Well, I know one thing. At least we all messed it up. But we had some pretty good guesses there. There's a first down toss out to Jaron Hayes. So I'll we give can, you the answer to that one. We can catch up if we know, right? First down. Here's a toss out to Shabai. I will say, thanks for being here. We love those shots above the horseshoe. Second and a long seven. Smoker waits till the last instance, and there's another drop ball. Third down and seven. Buckeyes show blitz, and they back out of it. Smoker, the out to Shabai, and that's a first down inside the 40. They can be thinking touchdown with a minute to go, but they know they've got a great kicker in their back pocket. Smoker pump fake. Now throws the out, incomplete. Smoker in the gun. That's been pretty much the spread look that you see there from Michigan State all day long. complete. Shabai cuts inside. Maybe shouldn't have. Although now he's trying to get Hayes to come in motion. Here comes the blitz and flags all over. Prior to the snap, full start offense. Four receivers. Well, I guess Smoker gets him in the right spot. He's got that bunch of four up to the right. Look out! Got it down the middle, but not couldn't hold it. Oh, boy. The offense comes back out on fourth and ten. Well, they got four guys out there, nobody deep behind them.
Smoker, pressure, down the middle, complete, but stops at the 35. A.J. Hawk, big hit. Tackling, and Hawk uh, was one of the top freshmen coming out of Ohio last year. Playing well. Frenzo will keep this one and run out of bounds. With tw Kick 21 out of 26. He's third in the nation in field goals, so keep it positive. Frenzo. Throw in for Holmes, and it's intercepted. Michigan State might have another crack at it. They get the ball back at the 45. First interception, first turnover for Ohio State. They're going to have to get it down to the Ohio State 40, roughly, to give Rayner a shot at it before halftime. Smoker throws the out, got it to his man, Shabai, right at midfield. It would be a long one, though. Smoker. Flushed out of the pocket and sacked. That's what they didn't need. And it's Darian Scott. Well, you got to give it a shot. Last play of the half. Screen. Goodbye. Well, it's not the last play <laughs> on the defense. The last play of the game. Last play of the half, right? Smoker lays it out. And out of bounds, and that'll end the half. So, good half for both teams. A couple of key turnovers, a couple of key sacks, or we might have had more points. But at halftime at home, the Ohio State Buckeyes ranked fifth in the country, trying to go to 9-1, and one, and they're off to a pretty good start, leading a tough Michigan State group from East Lansing, 17-10. to 10. Chris Gamble and Troy Smith are the guys that wait back deep at the goal line for Ohio State. Line drive kick. Gamble's not going to be able to return it. It's a one hopper, and Ohio State will take over at the 20 yard line as we. All right, Swanee. They're going to have to cut down on penalties. I know that much. Here's the play action bootleg for Krenzel. Got a man open. Oh, he threw a traffic, and Jenkins caught it. Split two defenders, and he's all the way out near midfield. They didn't see the defensive back. On another first down, this time the out, and that one's complete, too. So Krenzel comes out. to the ground. Cross. There's the first open run of the day. Now they have to scramble two guys off the field as they change up their defense trying to slow down Ohio State here opening moments of the third quarter. Second in a yard. That's a first down run. Pick up a three for Lydell Ross. First down. At the Michigan State 22. Renzel almost threw him offside with his cadence and now gives it to Ross again. Ross down near the 15-yard line. Seth Mitchell made the tackle. Where a safety didn't make the play. Second down. It's Ross again. Right side. Broke a tackle. Ross on his way down to the two-yard line. But Trestle told him at halftime he ought to bottle it and use it every week. Inside the two. Ross has done most of the damage, but he slips and goes down. Trying to make his cut in here. Hart Sox got one touchdown catch already today. He's on a wing right. Oh. Second and goal. There's the play pick. There's the throw. There's the tight end. Touchdown. Good call. Don't wait too long to call play action. First and goal or second and short are the best times. Hart Sox got one earlier. Now Hamby's got one. Two-yard touchdown to make it a 14-point game again. It does. 24-10. Let's go out and hit the things we came into this game thinking we could do. Nugent's kick will get out of the seven to Cobb. Cobb straight up the middle. He's got the kicker to beat. Getting a block and down the sideline. DeAndre Cobb, this might be a touchdown. It will be. The Spartans answer 93 yards on the kick return. I mentioned earlier that he had two kickoff returns for touchdowns and they lead the conference in kickoff returns and you just saw why wow what an answer to the ohio state drive what race and he won it and rainer's kick is good just like that ohio state looking like they were taking command of the ball game but cobb turned that around in one play i mean there was a nice nice hole there to run through Rainer's kick is returnable this time. Taken at the nine by Troy Smith. Whoa, is he cut down at the 20. For Michigan State and Ohio State, and it's 24-17 Buckeyes. Prenzel lays it out to his fullback, Joe, and Joe's got a first down. Brandon Joe's getting some work today. 
from the 34. First down. They stay on the ground as they did much of their last drive before the pinpoint passing. It's been a tough year offensively. High expectations. Play action bootleg. This has worked well today. It works again and again. It's a tight end. Hartsock. An action packed first three and a half minutes of this quarter. Frenzel again. Now he's going to run with it. He saw Taplin closing in. He said, boy, I better cut back to the middle of the field here. Under 10 minutes in the third quarter. They lead by a score. Here's Ross trying to get to the corner. Now the cutback. And a good one it was. He's got a first down at the 28. And then lead, pull around. That's that's something that not many centers can do. Flags down on this one as Ross goes off right tackle. Screens at home. Oklahoma. Leads. I think that's what yeah. Ohio State needs right now is style points. They've won so many close games that if they go and blow out a couple of teams along the way, it'll help them at the end. If you're looking for a one-loss team to get in there. Earlier in the week, a bunch of those one-loss teams are still hoping. And Ohio State is starting to look more like the Ohio State of last year here in the third quarter. The championship game has not been set until the last week of the season. So hold on. Don't do uh, don't higher than the other ones and all that. But good time for that. Here's Gamble on a swing pass out of the backfield. They haven't seen him play much offense. And especially in the backfield. Ohio State scored the last time they had it. Trying to do it again. Krenzel rifles it. It's complete. Nope, they're going to say incomplete. Mike Nugent will come in and try the field goal of 24 yards. He hit one earlier today. Kind of a tough angle, and he tucked it inside the right post. So three more for Ohio State. Kind of a high-scoring third quarter. We still have 6.14 to go in it. 27-17, Buckeyes. He ran it back for a touchdown. That may be a run another one. Hey, Pooch, not this time. Fair catch going to be taken. Good call by Jason Teague on that short kick. So he said he was their all-time leader. In yards and touchdown passes, and he's showing why today. Here he throws it to Teague, and Teague leaving his way out to about the 40 yard line. Here's a give inside, and wow, there's a half a yard gain by Jason Teague. They have it. Third down and one. Big one for Michigan State here. They'll try to have their quarterback do it, and I think he got it. Well, when in doubt, you know, all of that, Jeff Smoker did get a first down. Nabilski's in at left tackle in his place. Smoker throwing complete. Scott has it, and he gets out near the 48-yard line. And attempts. Look out for something up here now. There's a lot of guys fooling around. They're coming from this side. Smoker. His 29th completion as he crosses midfield. I think he's going to be about a yard short of the first down as well. All right, John, here it's a big third down and one for Michigan State. They're going to come with the end around, and they're going to get the first down. Shabai's got it. Down to the 44-yard line. He Michigan State's converted to third and one. Here comes the blitz on Smoker, and he fanned. The ball came off the back of his hand, and he has to cover it. So second and long takes him back into their own territory at the 47-yard line. Smoker finds his man, and a little seam down the middle. I don't know where the forward progress is going to be on this. I think at about the 48-yard line. But he's got third and long, third and 14. Throws on the run, completes it, but it's short of the first down. And somewhere. And he will move to the side, kick it back across his body, and it made it to the end zone. So we would have... Thank you, John. Here it's the Buckeyes by 10. 122 left in a long third quarter. Ross back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Nice play fake. Prenzel all day to throw as he rolls to the right, and now flags it down. It might be a holding call coming up. It's defensive holding. It's on Dukes. So first down by penalty, the 11th team penalty against Michigan State. Five on the defense now. And this one gives Ohio State a first down. Ross up the middle. They hope the fourth quarter belongs to them the first three halves. 27-17 Buckeyes. Our presentation of college football will continue after this message. And a word from our ABC stations. You're watching ABC Sports Championship Television. Sold out 105,000 plus 
And Ohio State with a lead and the ball. Brandon Joe, the fullback. Only to about the 40. Everything's going to take care of itself. You said it best. The next three or four weeks, a lot can happen. That's exactly right. Krenzel throws it out. Hard sock again. And he's inside the 45 to the 44. A scholarship, National Football Foundation scholarship for his academics. Here's a broken tackle on the corner by Lotto Ross. All of a sudden, the ground game for Ohio State in the Oklahoma. We get to see them in person against UCLA in the 22nd. That sometimes gives you a better feel. You can see all the film and all the tape and all the games on TV. Sometimes you see somebody in person, you go, wow, they're pretty good. Yeah, so true. And you can tell that about this Ohio State defense. By the time everything's said and done, I think uh, some style points definitely will be uh, in order for uh, Ohio State. Krenzel will keep it. And he goes out of bounds at the 25, maybe the 24-yard line. Friends will work from the shotgun on third down and nine. Play fake. Now he's in trouble. On the run, lost one for Hartsock, and it's broken up. And now Nugent's going to try a 42-yard field goal as we're back to live action here, and these two kickers are something. Yep. Boy, there's never a doubt when these two hit it. Either Dave Rayner or Mike Nugent, and Nugent knocks it in to tack three more on. For Ohio State, 30 to 17 now. Uh, out at Husky Stadium, looking over the lake. It's not too bad. Exactly. Yeah. That's the Tennessee. That's some good ones. Kick fielded at the 14-yard line. Trying to sneak out across the 30 is Chad Simon. Brad Nessler, Bob Greasy, and Lynn Swan and our ABC crew in Columbus, where the defending national champions lead Michigan State 30 to 17. Powered by their defense, and Craig Krenzel's three touchdown passes. And there's some of that defense right there. Robert Reynolds, Krenzel's played the best game he's played probably since the North Carolina State three overtime game. Down the middle, thrown behind, Aguim Shabai. These two guys down here look, uh, look like they're up to something. They're up to no good. Here comes the blitz. Smoker has to sidestep it. Now going deep down the middle. He overshot his intended receiver, and it's going to be intercepted. Dante Whitner, the freshman who started the game today, is a nickelback. First downs. And the ground game of Lydell Ross has woken up a little bit. Now. now, you go to school here, right? What, what year are you? Juniors. You're juniors. What are you studying? I'm. And here's a couple of pins. Wait a minute. Uh, you got to have to wear number 88. State's got a punt. Great story. We met those kids the other night. On the run, Shabai. On the return, out to about the 33. On first down, Michigan State. Smoker from the shotgun. Throws the deep out and broken up. Intended for not his tight end. And it looks like number nine's coming. Unless Smoker can do something here in the next nine plus minutes. Jeff's waiting, waiting. Double clutches and throws on the run. Incomplete intended. You don't want to get in a third long situation against this defense, but that's what the Spartans have. Smoker with plenty of time. Over the middle. And incomplete again. Aaron Alexander looking for a flag. Brandon Fields. To punt. Oh, bad kick off the side of his foot and out of bounds. They're going to spot this around midfield, I think. And V.J. Singh uh, hit every fairway except for one and every green except for one. And uh, that's about how often I hit the fairway or the green. <laughs> once or once. Given way to Scott McMullen, at least for this series, we knew we'd see number 15. He's been the savior in three games this year when Krenzel was out, including last week's win over Penn State. Here's Lionel Ross now free in the secondary. Down the sideline all the way to the 14-yard uh, line. Those numbers improved dramatically in the second half. Ross again. Down to about the nine as we check in with you. Look at the quarterback. Can't see him. <laughs> Joe, the fullback. And he's Ohio State. Very much in the thick of the Big Ten picture and maybe even a bigger picture. <laughs> I just, how low he gets. His rear end's almost on the ground. <laughs> it is first and goal. 
just shaded outside the three yard line. Slipped him behind the defense. They can't That's see it. You can't see him. Center looks like he has two helmets. Ross done a lot of work today. And he gets about a yard behind him. Now down in the deep crotch at the Michigan State two yard line. Lattell Ross again, right side. Nope. Got one more though. He's tough. When you stand the whole game, your legs start aching, your, your body's cold, and they say, go in there and play. Third and goal, the lob. Jenkins dropped it. Threw a little fade, and he had it in a good spot. Eight-yard line. This is an 18-yard field goal attempt by Mike Nugent from the right hash. Kind of a touchy angle because he's so close. But he's been perfect so far today. And he still is. Three more points for Ohio State. I'm not quite sure why Michigan State wasted a time out there when it was obvious they were going to kick a field goal. I'm not quite sure, but uh, at any rate, they're down to one timeout remaining. And with Miami losing today, Ohio State's moving up one more wrong yep. on the uh, ladder. This one taken by one of the up men, Jason Harmon. Harmon, nice Humble. return. Ball came loose. Yeah, Florida's leading Vandy. I think I heard 21 to 7 the last time we had a report. Smoker hit as he throws, but this one's complete across the 45. Jason Teague gets sandwiched. He just keeps throwing it. Like Bob said earlier, he's going to have his arm on ice when this one's over. Set to throw again. Throws the out. This one's incomplete. <laughs> some, some hot pick. You pick some good ones. Yeah, there. some hot. Now. Smoker deep out. Got a man just standing there, and he makes the catch. It's Kyle Brown. And Brown down near the 30. Oh, boy. Joe's all right. Leave him alone. I always like the last one you sneak in on those two <laughs> lists. Those are always good. Here's a draw play. We haven't seen any of these today, and it's not going very far anyway. Jason Teague, I think that might give Michigan State an even zero for rushing yards today at this point. Yeah. He was on the singular poll question today. Is, is he the coach of the year? One of the five that was listed. Here's Jeff Smoker sliding down inside the 20 for a first down. Jeff Smoker, as he's been all day alone, in the Spartan backfield. Here comes a blitz. And he goes to the corner. Got a man out there. And he snatched it down. He stole it. Touchdown. Aaron Alexander. So we said they had to strike in a hurry, and they did. That's yeah, not over yet. He's 6'5, so you start throwing it to your big guys. To make it an eight-point ball game and give them a chance. And the fans know it. They're making it pretty tough for the Spartans to hear. Oh, he had his man, and he threw it behind him. Kavanaugh. They try to hit it where it'll pop up in the air and bounce real high right it there. It popped, but it popped right to Jenkins. It was touched once, and then Michael Jenkins. Guilford's in there at tailback, and he gets the call. For about a yard. Mountain Union has beaten him. St. John's ranked second in the country. Coach Gillardi was going for the all-time record today. He had already tied Eddie Robinson in the third. Tight end Hamby, the third touchdown toss for Craig on the day, and the Ohio State offense wakes up. And, uh, and something, something genetically harder than that. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to go to class? No, I... Mishandled punt, picked up, and tossed out of bounds. <laughs> we'll call him Dr. <laughs> Crimson in about uh, 10 years. Yeah. There's a hit put on. Ball scooped up. Nope. It's an incomplete pass. You win this game today and move on. But uh, he's going to lose some players, but they get a lot of good recruits. Pass intended for Jan Hayes, and it's... Jeff Smoker is up to throw another pass, maybe. Scott almost got him again. He rifles it down the sideline, out of bounds, over the head of his intended receiver. 56 is coming up right here. Could be the final time they touch it today. Nope, he's not going to get off. The 56th. And there's number 56 again, Scott Anderson. Matt Marvin, our associate producer. Randy Hargrove, our technical director. Our game today directed by Steve Bime. Nice to the fans down there in the corner of the end zone didn't like it. They were booing it, but... Uh... And McCauley takes a knee. And that will wrap things up. So Ohio State's going to win it. They're pretty impressive today over Michigan State. They win by 
33 to 23 is the final score from the horseshoe and that means we'll be back here next week as coach smith and coach trestle shake hands at midfield big game with purdue next week coming up for ohio state our final score 33 23 for bob greasy and lynn swan i'm brad nessler so long from columbus we'll see you right back here next week